Hello and welcome back to the channel Northworthy Sagas and Stories. I am your host for the day. I am Braggy, son of Magnar, and yes, I am a Viking, as you can tell from my clothing. Now today I am here to tell you a folk tale. And this is an English folk tale from the Shire of Devon. And if you're not familiar with England, England, the home of the Anglo Saxons, then Devon is down south and is a part of Wessex. Now, many, many, many years ago, I travelled down south. And I met a lady who told me this folk tale. And this folk tale is called The Red Silk Handkerchief. And it has the theme of a ghost, a ghast. Now, once when I knew this lady, she was an old woman, and her name was Joanna. And she was wife of an old farmer and I was down there lodging one summer and me and the old lady the farmer S was sitting around the hearth the fire and we was telling stories and folk tales to each other as often you do for storytelling is very important in the age of the Anglo-Saxons and also in the age of the Vikings and we were sitting around and she told me a story of her past. Many, many seasons ago, when this old lady was young, she was betrothed to be married to a young Saxon warrior, a fine young man. And sadly, something happened the day before they were due to wed on their wedding day. Our young man the young Saxon warrior, he died, passed away suddenly. And as you could imagine, she was terribly upset by this. And remained upset for some time, a year passed. And eventually she met another young man, another young Saxon, and he was a farmer, as often people were in those days. After all, you do need to eat. And they was betrothed to be married. And the next day was their wedding day. But something strange, something weird happened the night before. Something extraordinary. Our lady in question went to bed that night, the day before her wedding. And in the middle of the night, the ghost of the young Saxon warrior the man who she was betrothed to marry, who died, appeared before her. And that kind of scared her. I think it would scare me. And I'd imagine you would be scared too. And the ghost of this young Saxon man says, Joanna, you cannot marry another than me till you have returned the present I gave you of the red silk handkerchief and I'll stop it, the wedding, till I have it back. Oh, she was very upset by this because she wanted to be married and she immediately got up and in the corner of the longhouse and the room she was in, the, the side room, there was a small chest. And she had the key to her chest, she unlocked the chest and pulled out this red silk handkerchief. And after all, silk was a fairly high and expensive material in those days. And she handed the handkerchief back to the ghost of the young Saxon warrior. Whereupon the ghost disappeared never to be seen again. But the next morning she woke up 
and she told her family, her mother and her father of what had happened the night before. And they said, well, you was dreaming, daughter, Dossier, in Saxon. But she said that I was not dreaming. For if you go into my chest, you will not find the red handkerchief that many years ago the young Saxon warrior gave her. And I know it is true, she said, for the red silk handkerchief disappeared from the night and you can open up his grave and I'll bet you'll find it in his coffin. Now some time passed and the villagers in the village she lived in heard of this story of the ghost visiting her. And after a while they got too curious and wanted to go and dig up the grave. So they went and fetched the local priest and three men with wooden shovels dug up the grave and find an old pine coffin with the remains of the young Saxon warrior and what do you think they found? Well indeed they found the red silk handkerchief in his coffin. The end of the folk tale. Now if you have liked this folk tale, thank you very much, give it a like. We have told many spooky tales on the channel of goats and no doubt we will tell more. And if you are new to the channel, then please go and subscribe. If you click on the notification bell too, you'll be notified when we publish our content, which is currently four or five times a week. You'll also be notified when we premiere videos and when we live stream, which is something we're doing more regular. So until the next time we see you again, I am Braggy and I urge you to leave a comment. Goodbye.